guys, Linda here. I am going to make a video today. <laughs> I still don't have my thing hooked up. I am using my phone and my laptop. I have to get a TV monitor, I guess. I have this big Mac screen, you know, from the Mac desktop thingy. And um, I have every cable. <laughs> But you should look at all these cables. I have this one with the HDML. It would go in here, but it doesn't hook to that computer. That big computer doesn't have one of these cables. It has to be a TV monitor. And I am one of the few people that probably owns one television. And I have this one and this one. And I also have this little one. So I have every connector you need. I just don't have the television. <laughs> anyway, I'm making my granddaughter a birthday card and I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Um, last week when I talked to Cat Han, I went and watched the video that she did oh, a long time ago where she was interviewed and um, she was making cards out of these really cute flowers that she made. So I painted a bunch of, this is actually watercolor paper and I used acrylic on it. It's really um, weird watercolor paper, really kind of cheap. And I just took it and I gotta think now. Okay, I have to pull the top, mm, let me see. Yeah, I'm pulling the top away because I want it, I like that little white edge that it tears away. So I just painted the paper and then started tearing it and made these adorable little circles. And um, let's see, this way, right? Okay, I have to think about it every time I do it, every time I tear. So I'm just tearing out and trying to make them each one a little smaller. And I did several different colored papers. And um, then I'll have to show you what I did with all that paper. <laughs> you know, like when you get done, you'll have all these little pieces like this. So what I did with those is I um, glued them to some uh, really thin uh, cardstock because this is so thick. And um, I just, <laughs> let's see, no, maybe not. I'm thinking here. It's been a week. Oh yeah, I must have you. no, that's a thin cardstock. Okay, yep. I just took a piece of a thin scrapbook paper, and these are really thick now, but I really put a lot of these scraps all over it and some other scraps. And then I just colored it, I mean colored it, oh man. <laughs> I just glued it on and then I cut it out and stitched around it. So I have these tags now that I can use because I just couldn't stand that. I used some other papers too that I had painted. Um, and then this one, I took the inside of a napkin, the white part, and I just, uh, I think I mod podged it on, and then I just scraped it. Oh no, I didn't, I used, I used the <laughs> glue stick, and then I scraped it off. So, because I thought it would tone it down a little bit, but I'm not sure, but I think they'll be fun. I mean, I could still, use these to put a big flower on and I think that would look really cute. But anyway, back to the birthday card. So, oh, and then you just glue these. Well, you, actually you take them and you kind of crunch them all up and um, then you glue them together. You gotta watch Cat. Hers are so cute, so cute. Anyway, so I have a bunch made and I have a card base here. And then I got out my um, Edith Holden book. This was my mother-in-law's book and it had her name and um, 1983. This book, oh see it says now uh, first Al edition 1982. It's originally, nine, well that says 1977. Um, 
but I think it's the original, yeah, 1906 is the original country lady, country diary of an Edwardian lady. So it's just a really neat book and I, I know you can still get it. Um, but I, it was all falling apart when I found it in her stuff. And I just kept it because I thought, oh my gosh, these pictures are just so perfect. So I, I won't use the original, I make copies of it. And the first time I made a copy of this page, look how pink it was. I don't know what it is with my copier. It's like the first time I make a copy, it comes out this weird pink color. So I did the, you know, where you clean the heads and do all that stuff. And I did that and it came out much better. Not exact, let's see. Yeah, it's not quite as dark. And, you know, I don't have that good of a printer. And I know there's better printers out there, but I don't know that I print enough to make it, you know, cost efficient. Anyway, her birthday's in February, so I thought that would be kind of fun to use as a background paper. So I'm just gonna tear that down so that it fits on here. I like this Fair Maid of February. I think that's kind of cool. We'll start with this side. So I hope everybody's having a good day. It finally stopped snowing here and the sun came out. It's been snowing all morning, but it's still only like five degrees. So <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I haven't walked in so long. Oh, it's terrible. And I'm tired. And I think that's because I haven't gotten any exercise. Doesn't that seem weird? But I guess that's the way it goes. Okay, so we want this down to about here. I've been working in my classroom, or my classroom, in my art room. Um, I hung up another shelf and moved my scanning cut to the shelf. So that, that's going to make me happy. Now, um, so I want to find a cheap TV monitor <laughs> on Amazon. And that dear Felicia, she wrote me this long letter with pictures and diagrams of everything I need. She is just so good to me. Oh, I just really want to get that fair maids of February on there. I guess that's good. It's a little bit of purple around the outside. So I'm going to ink that up. Um, my granddaughter shared um, two reports that he wrote, that she wrote. One, well, one was on hedgehogs and I learned a lot um, and then the other one was when um, was it Galliano Galliano the uh, astrologist I learned real well don't I anyway um, she had to do slideshow and all this neat stuff it was really cool very impressed I hope she she loves astrology and I just hope that her love of learning stays with her because that is something that gets you through those teen years much better than anything else. So I want to glue this down. took my retainers out, so I hope I'm talking better. They drive me nuts. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm supposed to wear them. I don't have any follow-up, um, you know, appointments with the person that I got my um, TMJ, all that stuff from. I thought maybe this would be kind of cute on here, too. So that's going to cover up that, too, but... Maybe I could put it over here, put this here, and then draw the stem, make a stem down there. I think 
thinking, and then I have happy birthday to put on here too. I was thinking that was gonna go across here. All right, I'm gonna put this down. So yesterday there was all this noise outside and what they were doing is taking the big pile of snow and lifting it up over the fence and onto the, well, it's a bike trail, but it's closed now because it's, um, the eagles are roosting and, you know, you aren't supposed to be in that area. So that was kind of funny to watch. And all that water, or and all that snow will just melt into the river, I guess. But the DNR are very, you know, on top of things and very careful here about, and the Eagle Council, they're the ones that really are in charge of what you can and can't do. Like we, we all have screened in balconies, but we aren't supposed to, um, you know, put any Christmas decorations out, anything with bright lights during this time. And it's not for very long, but, and it's in the winter when, you know, you wouldn't worry about it anyway. Okay, so I want to put this here, and then I think I'm going to find some more green paper that I painted. It doesn't look like I have any more dark green. Let's see if this will work. The, I made some Valentine's Day cards like this, and um, they turned out really cute. And I put Happy Valentine's Day. This could be tricky. Sounds like the plow's out there again. Um, my granddaughter is also very artsy. Her mom is. Her mom has. Um, let's see, made in Montana, handmade in Montana, something like that. She's really started a lot of artsy kind of programs in Montana. They live in, where is it, um, Polson. I just didn't want to cover that up. Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> I just went that fair maid of February on there. And then happy birthday. So we'll glue that down. Last night I updated my picture <laughs> on YouTube because it's like, oh my gosh, I don't even look like that anymore because of my hair getting so long because I haven't been to a hairdresser in a year. Well, I guess I went for a haircut in January, but I had a appointment, a couple appointments that I canceled, and then the hairdresser called and said, you know, this is going to last a lot longer, and I went in in May or something like that, and uh, just got a trim, because he said, you know, if this is going to last longer, I think I'm just going to take, I'm just going to let my hair grow, and so she just trimmed it, so it's, it's getting long, and I'm okay with that. Except now I have to look into getting, I don't know, curlers or a hot curling iron. If anybody has a suggestion on a good curling iron, I would love that. Okay, so now we have to put happy birthday on here. Does that look okay? I don't know. Sometimes I can pull it up just real quick. I think it has to be over here. This is a stamping up um, word die. I like this. I think I like this font. It's kind of fun. Let's see, what else do we need to put on here? Maybe some gems. I have a, you know, I have a whole drawer of like gems that I thought I had, like this would be a whole thing of blue. And there are blue in here, but there's also some purple too, so. Um, ooh, that gold's really pretty. And I haven't been using those either, so it's fun to get them out. I'll put the 
to put one on there. And I've had them so long that I really don't trust that they're going to work. So maybe we'll do these down here. Could use my um, what are they? Diamond dots too. I like these little yellow ones. So I'm thinking about getting a bunch of those photo cases. Oh, I know what I need for this. Oh, here it is. It still works. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used it, so it might be all dried up. I've got a little one of these at the bottom of each leaf might be kind of pretty. So I hope you're all safe and sound that this crazy weather we're having isn't affecting you too badly. It seems like it's everywhere. I have them, so I should use them, right? I might not have enough for all of it, though. I might take some of these words. There just seems like there's too many in a spot. Maybe a purple star here. So now I want to put something around here, and I know I have some bracket dyes that I could do in this purple. Okay, let's see. See, I want to get some more of these, I think, to put my bling in and label them by the different colors. These are cute little brackets. I think these will work. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's see if we can get those cut out. I lost them for a minute. <laughs> they're pretty tiny. I think they're still on the tape. <laughs> Ugh, sometimes I put things on and then it slides inside there and take it out and it's not where I want it to be. There we go. So this die set is from Elizabeth Craft. And it, it's these letters. I think this is Elizabeth Craft. Yeah, this isn't too much. Yeah, this is the set that has the different sizes in it. See, I like this set. So there's probably bigger brackets. I wonder if I need a bigger bracket. Let's see, here's a medium bracket. And that one's too big. So that one will have to do. Okay, let's see if we can get it out of here. There we go. Cool. I mean, the Fair Maid of February is kind of light, but it's still cute, right? Okay, I think that's a card for a granddaughter. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, these things are so tiny. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have magnets. <laughs> and this was a Felicia idea. Put them in like that. Oh, she's amazing. All right, so there we have it, a birthday card. That's, I think, all I have for you. I think what I'll do with this one, though, is I'm going to put inside. I used to do this a lot. I'd take um, copy paper and just fold it and then use an edge punch and then just put that inside, and that just makes it look so pretty. <laughs> so there's my card. And then I wanted to show you my week's worth of coffee dyeing. I just think this is so cool. So I took the copy book. I told, I think I told you about this. And I had it sitting by my kitchen sink. And every time I'd go in my kitchen, I'd take my spray bottle and just spray the coffee on it. And look at, now I have a whole book. Isn't that something? And Felicia had said she put some, um, I forget, herb or something. And when she was making her coffee, and Kat had mentioned that she likes ginger in her coffee. And I thought, oh, I have 
a lot of oil I have young living oil so I put a little ginger oil in with it and oh my goodness they smell so good so look at this, this one's really <clears throat> cool how they you know all the pages were different and then you know after I got to the end I kind of went back and thought oh that page looks kind of light I would redo it again see like in the camera from what I can see on my screen that looks really light much lighter than it is. They're really pretty dark. Like, you can see here how dark that is. But on the camera, it looks like this is really light, but it's not. So, anyway, so then in the middle, this is the middle, I can just take these threads out and then I have a whole big page of paper that I can just glue right on the back of those big cards that I'm collaging on. So there you have it, coffee dyed paper, collage made from little pieces of paper and some fun little flowers. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. I'm just playing in my craft room today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.